I'm not gonna lie, I kind of remember what we were doing, so I think we have to go find an archive building. Or this thing right here, okay. And then I think we gotta like discover some pocket watts that we uh, discovered at our mom's grave or something like that. So, it's been a few days since I've, uh, I've recorded the last episode, so. Now, sometimes I like to, I try to record as much as I can over the week again. Um, you know, and it gives me like a few days free of recording, whatever. And then right after that, uh, how do I? Okay, X. And then yeah. Right, am I gonna have to go through this cutscene again? I'm watching you closely, Mr. Holmes. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's see. All right, so I imagine we gotta go through in here. Oh. The hell? <coughs> Excuse me. Woo! All right, at least it wasn't an annoying ass cough, huh? Anyways, uh, let's see. Um, newspaper archive. Select evidence and three search criteria. Wait, what? Whoa. Wait, what am I doing? Wait, what? Uh. Uh, this is... Wait, what What the fuck am I doing, man? Okay, serious visitor. Someone lit the candle on my mother's grave, blah, 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 blah. Follow the footprint. Yeah, I don't know, it turned out to be a guy. Okay, wait, is this just gonna, like... No, it's not gonna, like, back out and, like, give me the right one. Okay, uh, let's try to figure this one out. So, a photo of the hospital lights a crypt. Photograph the hospital. Find a mysterious visitor. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, I am probably gonna have to look it up. Oh my god. Oh my god. What am I'll I doing, right John? here. Th that doesn't help me, man. Sorry. Alright, let's just select stuff, something until we get something right. Alright. Um, Alright, so we got current year. Uh, sure. Uh huh. Yep. Uh, I would say yep. And boom. Okay. Uh. Okay. So none of this is actually let me search. Oh, because I'm searching three criteria. Okay. Uh, nothing. <coughs> uh, okay. Um. Wow. This is really bad. <laughs> oh no. This is gonna be one of those games where it's like, if you can't remember what you're doing, then fuck you. Um, okay, so go to the past, that's the case I've already solved, my mother's love is what I'm doing right now. Um, you want me to visit the medium? Wait, have I actually visited the medium yet? Okay. Um, Vogel store, oh, here we go. Okay, so, so Vernon Vogel is the man that left my, <coughs> excuse me, my mother's watch on her grave. Vogel claimed it was his way to return what already belonged to me. He also mentioned that there was a police investigation into my mother's death. I doubt that's true, but if they did, there would be something about it in the police archive. We are in completely wrong location! Okay. Uh, well, to be fair, um, I don't think I was paying attention or I'm just, I was just too stupid to follow along what the, ever the last conversation was going to. So, yeah. I thought we were going to be, like, trying to look up, you know, where the watch may be from or something. But, maybe a little shit. But, um, now we're looking at a police investigation about mommy's death, so. Oh, man. If the story is, like, turns out, like, Sherlock Holmes' mom, like, mur murdered, you know, out in the streets. And then, um... And then, like, the whole thing is about finding your mom's, like, killer. Oh, dude, that would be sick. I mean, it'd be a cool story, but, I mean, the fact that I've already, like, figured that out, uh, would be a little, meh, you know? I like to be surprised, you know? I don't like to, you know, get, uh, predictions right all the time. Alright. Hello. Boy. Alright. Stark do this, Stark do that. I'm not a clerk, damn it. How am I supposed to get those records now? Yes? What is it? Would you like to report a crime? No, I wouldn't. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I want to use the police archives. Wouldn't we all? I'm serious. So am I. Officer Logan locked himself inside and he's not letting anyone in. 
But why the archives? Won't that stall everyone's work? You bet it will. He's looking up all the thieves in Cordona over the past decade. Say one thing for Logan. He's persistent. What happened exactly? A tailoress from Scaladio has been robbed. Logan spent two whole days at the shop sketching the thief, and she still insists that it's all wrong. That shrew drove him up the wall, she did. Would you mind if I talk to this tailoress? I could get you the sketch in no time. Get off your high horse, mister. You think you're better than our sketch artist? Actually, I'm quite certain I am. Let me prove it. Well, I see no harm in it, as long as it gets Logan out of there. In fact, I need to look up some records too. Here's the address. Good luck. Master of Disguise. Ah, oh, this is where we're gonna start doing the uh, disguise system. Nice. I hope it was. Oh no. Alright, what am I doing? Um, let's see. So, to gain access to the police archive, I have to help the sketch artists capture the likeness of the culprit. So, okay, here we go. So, let's look at the cases. The police need to get a sketch of the thief who robbed Mrs. Nini's at, at, oh shit, at the liar. Uh, I, I sort of played the uh, anime game, so I, I kind of know what it is, at liar. Anyways, uh, the sketch artist was unable to capture the likeness of the culprit, of the culprit, but my disguise prove. Sorry, it's late at night. I, I can't read that well. My disguise, but my disguise skills may prove more effective. The Atlier is located at the intersection of Knights Road and Trinity Way in Scaladio. Okay. Um, first of all, just so I don't can further myself from embarrassment. Atelier. At wait what? Atelier. Atelier. Okay, so atelier. Okay. Cool. Um. Anyways, so located at the intersection of Knights Road and Trinity Way and Scalario. <coughs> All right. So we. <coughs> shit. We are in Scalario already. <coughs> Fuck no. All right. Um. So Knights Road and Trinity Way we are looking for. So this Trinity and we need to find Knights Road. Uh here we go. So oh she's behind the police station, lucky us. There we go. Alright. I'm pleased to meet you, ma'am. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm here to sketch the thief for the police investigation. Oh, what another one. I hope you'll be more patient than the previous sketches, signore. I suggest we do it differently. You have a great many clothes here, haven't you? Why, of course, but they're not for sale. I only do tailoring and mending. No matter. I'll attempt to disguise myself as the thief, and you'll tell me if I get it right. As you wish, Signor Holmes. Can you describe the thief for me? He was all ugly and beat up looking. An utter rascal, if ever I'd seen one. He gave me a nasty look from behind his glasses and then made himself scarce. And that's it? Could you be more specific? He was a total villain, I told you. How much more specific do you want me to be? All right, never mind. Where I mean, can I, I find the clothes? Yeah. They're in my workshop at the back. Uh, be careful, won't you? Doesn't it say John, really? Oh, look at this old chap putting on airs like some Italian doge. Why don't you disguise yourself as him instead? We have a job to do, John. Oh, come on, at least do him first. I was gonna say, kind of tempting. <clears throat> Alright, so right now I'm just picking up all the items I need. With I think I got everything. So, oh, here we go. Okay, first things first. I wanted to actually see if we can actually. Whoa. Worst suit in the game, just awful. 
I mean, <sighs> yeah, I mean, it is beige. Beige isn't my color, so. Police uniform, white suit, guaranteed to get dirt instantly, and criminal chick. Hold your pants up for you, keeping your hands free. Alright, uh, let's see here. I think we could actually try to look like that guy. Uh, no glasses. No beard. Huh. Okay. Wow. You'll hit dead ends with your investigation if you don't dress properly. Luckily, Sherlock has a pension for disguise. This is so British. So, visit a wardrobe menu to change the outfit. And I guess that shouldn't be too bad for me, but I mean, because, you know, obviously I have British friends. But, I mean. Your face is too innocent now. What do you mean, too innocent? There was something evil about his face. Like a mustache. Yes! The kind that all villains twirl as they plot their evil plans. I'd say that not all villains wear moustaches, but I get your point, Mom. Just imagine that's like the only thing that just didn't get. No, Signore, that hat is wrong. I told you it was a regular bowler. You didn't tell me it was a bowler. But I did. You ought to pay more attention, Signore. Okay. So instead, she just told me one thing I got wrong. So, bowler, mustache. Uh, oh my god, wow. You know what? He totally does look completely different, though. Interesting. Alright, um. He's gonna say, I was gonna say, he's the master of disguise, so I think, uh, I think Agent 47 has, a uh, competition. Ah, it's you! I mean, it's him! It's him! Excellent. Now I can make a sketch and take it to the police. Yes, sir. Please do. That rascal is still on the loose. I hope they are better at catching than sketching. Before I go, Mom, are you quite certain that you don't have any clothes to sell? Well, I suppose you can take the police uniform. An officer forgot it here years ago, and I don't have any use for it. If you want to buy clothes, visit the Outfitters. You can find them all over Codorna. I hear they even do free rentals now. Let me show you where the nearest one is. Thank you very much. Alrighty. So wait, so do we actually like have like all those clothes now? To what? Ooh, I see a few new ones to see. See, that one's like, ooh. Ooh, I do like that one, though. I, you know, honestly, I think, like, I never played any of the Sherlock Holmes game, right? But I honestly think that's what he wears in, like, the Devil something. Uh, in one of the later ones, so. That looks alright. I mean, it's just a basic suit, so. Eh. Uh, I mean. Just gonna skip that one. Slavic gangster, you came to the wrong neighborhood. Okay then. Wow. You know what, John has been a little bit of a dick to me. I think he do totally deserves to wear an ice cream outfit. So, that was interesting. Ukrainian John, interesting. All right. Let's, uh, you know, I'm kind of tempted to go into the police station with the police outfit just to see what it's like. I think I'm going to do that. There we go. Alright. I actually wonder, like, how, like, what dynamics of the world it actually changes, uh, depending on the disguise that you have on. So, be interesting. We'll find out soon enough. Hello again, officer. I've spoken to the tailoress and made a sketch of the thief. It was child's play. No, really? 
And she didn't give you any trouble? No, no trouble at all. She was quite tolerable. Huh. Who would have thought? Hey, Logan, we've got the sketch. Come on out. Can I use the archives now? Well, they're generally not accessible to the public. But you really helped us out, so I'll just turn a blind eye. I appreciate it, officer. What did you say your name was? Holmes? Come and see me after you're done. I may have a proposition for you, Mr. Holmes. Alright. Interesting. Those pictures look like super real. Alright. Huh. You know, I wonder if any of these guys are the devs. I know sometimes, like, in uh, games, like, when they have, like, real pictures of people in them, like, in the game, uh, sometimes it's usually, like, the real devs, so. Interesting. Alright. Uh, archives, 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 right, right, here we go. That looks like he's having oh, a bad day. Oh, I need a day off. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh no, please don't be that. Don't please, don't be that. I mean, uh, well, it looks like I am gonna have to play another guessing game. Yeah. Now that I have a thing, I can take it to, back to constable. So. Wait, I need to wait. Oh, okay. I've already, okay. I've already gotten this uh, cleared out. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, okay, wait, okay, I'm sorry, I'm 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 kinda turned around right now. I don't know if I'm just stupid or like if this is like a legit problem, but like what the fuck am I like doing? So I finish these two. I don't know why the evidence is still up though. Am I trying to find the archive for this guy? Or... Hmm. I need somewhere I'm going to say... Wait, whoa. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry guys, I'm so fucking turned around right now. Like I legit don't know what I am doing exactly. Uh it's all suggest that I surprise Mrs. Muni by impersonating the man to Um Okay. Poor Sitter Thief who robbed Miss Muni. Okay. So I think what I'm doing. So, so I'm trying to find the archives of the thief, I guess. So the police need to get a sketch of the thief who robbed with Nini. Is then able to capture the likeness culture in it, culprit. Uh, Natalie, blah blah blah. I mean, you got the thief to so like an utter rascal who was beaten up and wearing glasses. He was also wearing a mustache. Okay. Suspect. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. All right, time for a jump cut. <laughs> okay, so I haven't done this legitly le yet, but this is why I was confused. So, because I didn't pin uh, a mother's love, I apparently I had the master disguise. The case I just done pinned. Even though I never, I can remember not pinning it manually. I don't know. Like I said, man, we're, we're just going to continue. So, all right. So, let's see. So, let's see. Crimes. Uh, left mother. Blah, blah, blah. You also mentioned there was a police investigation into my mother's death. I doubt that's true. So, I'm going to the candle. Pocket wash. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Oh, this is a lot of fucking. Oh my god. Oh 
Oh man, oh, uh, I wonder if this is the right one. What? I figured it out. Uh, all I found in the archives was an empty folder labeled Thusly Case of Violet Holmes, April 9th, 1869, Stonewood Manor, Grey Surrey. There are no documents inside at all. It seems there really was a police investigation, yet all the case files are missing. Okay. So... John, I just recalled that we were living here on Cordona, in a manor, and there was a policeman. Really? What else do you remember? What happened to our mother? The memory was vague, a, a mere flash. I have to find our house. Absolutely. Let's do it. Okay, so now we are uh, on the way to find our house. Or and stuff. So, I just do want to go ahead and mention that I apologize for this episode. I'm just... done with the archives for now. Can I help you with anything else? As a matter of fact, oh, yeah, you I can. forgot we had to talk to this guy. The thing is, our chief inspector has vanished. As if we weren't undermanned enough as it is. Wait, what do you mean, vanished? Gone missing on a case. Shady business, but that's besides the point. See that board? Pending cases are posted there for any available officers to investigate. I would take them myself, except that I've been told to work the reception desk, like some clerk. Yes, we're that short-handed. I understand your predicament, but what does any of it have to do with me? I may be available, but I'm certainly not an officer. Oh, don't worry about it. Consider yourself a temporary one-man independent police force. That's a bit of a mouthful. There's just one small, minor, basic formality. You'll need to complete our physical training course. Easy. Yeah, well, right. I don't want to walk at a spot of exercise. What must I do? I That's don't want to do four. Sergeant Ermy will show you the ropes. Follow me. Trust me, if you if you've been to the gym for at least like two weeks or something like that, you you're, you'll definitely pass it. Uh. You want to explain what just happened there, Sherlock? No. Okay. We'll pretend it never happened then. So, you're a newcomer. We must be desperate to ask untrained civilians for help. You're lucky to have a well-trained civilian with a brand new auto pistol in his arsenal. An automatic? A bit of a braggart, aren't you? Are you trying to test me already? That is why you're here, boy. I need to verify your skills before I can allow you to catch criminals. The first targets are in the next room. You know what to do with them. I'll join you in a while to see the results. Concentrate, Sherry. You need to hit every target to show the sergeant how we do it. That was easy enough. Oh, I think, uh, I think this game has adapted triggers. Interesting. Hooray! Proceed to the next room. Meanwhile, I'll fill out the paperwork. Uh, you my imagination too, I, I swear to God, you do. Okay. Yeah, I'm Come so on, tired. <laughs> just like in childhood. So, I think like, n for now on, I'm just gonna like do this more in the daytime and not like late at night, just so I can actually, like, yeah, be, be smarter than Steady, not. Sherry. Steady. And go. My favorite mannequins for attack. Let's strike them ninja style. Aim for where you might take advantage and don't forget the environment. I could do this all day. Please don't, Sherry. We don't have that much time. Our enemies might be stronger than us, but we rely on our wits. Shoot off their armor. Hooray! All right, let's move on, Sherry. If you stand here and use your snuff box on them, you can definitely overcome them, Sherry. It's all. Look at that helmet of his. You won't be what? able to get the powder past it. Helpful advice, John. I would never have guessed. Good job, new boy. Well, I'm almost finished with the paperwork. Let's talk about your results. Well, I must say your results aren't as bad as I feared. 
Perhaps you're not completely hopeless, but true combat is quite different from shooting stationary targets. I'll handle it just as easily. Well, that's what we're going to find out. Now, we'll test you against our men. Your task is to detain them, not to kill them. So don't go shooting anyone in the eye. That goes for in the field as well. Even though you'll be working with the police department, that doesn't mean you have a license to kill. Here, take these. They are blank rounds. So, are you ready? Always ready. Then let's get cracking. Sorry to nitpick, but was that John have a, John has a shadow? Stop. Good luck, not even real. and remember, the surroundings are your playground. Murder is cruel and excessive. Try to arrest the enemy instead. Disorient your opponent, get in close, and then press X to arrest them. Follow the cues promptly to immobilize your foes. Okay. You know, I remember, I just remembered just now that there used to be a Sherlock Holmes movie came, that came out a bit ago. I wonder if what ever happened to it. I never saw it, so. Hopefully it didn't suck ass. Because I might be interested to watch it. coming. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, what the fuck? Wait, whoa! That was new. I'm coming for you. Uh. <laughs> I can miss the party. All right, why don't you come over here, Mr. Party Man? No more crime for you until next <laughs> month. <laughs> he does his voice is not even fucking moving his mouth. Oh shit, that guy has a gun. Wait, how do I? I don't know how to arrest this dude, but this guy's about to come around and pop me a new one. Oh, I thought that was gonna blast up. Sir, can you move a little bit closer? Thank you. Okay, that's actually not gonna work. I'm gonna have to need you to come over here. Okay, that is so perfect. Thank you for shooting me in the arms. That is just absolutely nothing to me. Wow. The snuff's ready. Wow. I'm sorry, but this is fucking. Oh, oh the Sherlock Holmes game doesn't have this great combat system. I'm sorry, I mean, I don't mean to make fun of it, but I mean, like, I know, like, a couple parts ago, I was like, well, you know, this is the B level game. Uh. Time to knock this guy out. Don't cry. Give him the pepper snuff. Wow. That was. Uh... That's enough. You've proved yourself. Congratulations on the arrests. I can't believe you did so well with the close combat. I did tell you that I'm well trained. Well, do the same on the street, and you'll be well rewarded for every arrest you make. Here is your certificate. You are now. An authorized crime scene consultant. Well, it's now your duty to make this city a safer place. Cordona won't ever forget it. But at the same time, it will never remember. I'll tell Stark all the necessary details about your successful certification. Congratulations. Now you're a certified crime scene consultant. Congratulations. Thank you, my friend. Now, shall we head for Stonewood Manor? Don't know. You have the whole island to investigate. It's all up to you. <laughs>